Good afternoon, everyone. That was you watching. This is something I made yesterday. It's uh, for grip. I made it a little bit deep here for her to uh, for um, for a reason. This is a three quarter inch iron pipe. There, there, and there. This is a 140 pound uh, garage door spring. It's a nice big machine. It's a little bit bigger than that one there, but I might put I might uh, put more springs on this. I don't know. This one's pretty easy. I'm going to show you how this thing works. Hopefully, this doesn't fall over. And you can see what I'm doing. tension on at all times and uh, see it has a little tension on at all times got uh, this here where it sets on on there and then this slides up and down in here and uh, put fancy cap nuts on the end of that got these as well secured got two screws going in there Two screws going in over here and underneath here. There's one in each one there. And I just wrapped them with uh, some uh, grip tape to uh, have it a little thicker and a little more comfortable. But it, it's about, I'm thinking that uh, three quarter inch is about one inch in diameter all together. And uh, And uh, like I said, that's a 140-pound garage door spring. I got the wrapper over here to show you what came with it, what was on it. A little bit of a mess in here today, but uh, this is what it's right here. I might, uh, like I said, I might. They're expensive little garage door springs, but. Like I said, over time I might uh, put another one or two on there. Seeing that this is fairly easily done, I thought maybe if I put some tension on that, gave it a wide space there, to uh, it would uh, be tighter to pull up. And that didn't work out like I thought it would like that, but still a good little good little resistance on there. It's not the whole 140, as far as I can tell, it's maybe 50, 60, maybe about 50 or 60 pounds, if that. It works pretty good. thinking about making another one. I made a littler one in the past. I don't know if I did a video. I think I did a video on that spring that shifted a little. Only thing about these garage door springs is this here. Uh, the ends are not straight on. I did not want to mess with it and break it, but they're not straight on like I said. Like I said. But uh, it's in work. Seems to work. I can probably get that's another. It works pretty good. A little high on this, a little tall, but it's gonna be full. It can be done there. 
probably even do it with, like this too. I feel like figure out put my foot on there to kind of. A little, a little uh, sticky because it's not quite what I was looking for with this, but because of the uh, length of this pipe, piece of pipe, probably should have made it another quarter inch smaller to uh, work a little better. But uh, or when I do put new another springs on, put the springs on this outer edge just instead of in the center. So it's not so wobbly. And the only way to really get to changing it is to, to put add it on there is to take a piece of this down on each side and then unscrew the rod at the bottom. Anyway, that's my little thing I just I made yesterday. I was gonna paint the paint the wood. Or stain it, but uh, I think I might just leave it as is. This orange tape was the cheapest I could find on uh, in the store. It works perfect. It's grip tape. Anyway, thank you for watching.